Hey guys, Michael here. So you know this view once feature on WhatsApp, Telegram, and other chatting apps that allows you to view images just once. And when you try to take a screenshot, all the screenshots you'll be taking will be blank. This also happens when you are recording your screen. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how people actually view your view ones, images, and video without you even noticing. And this is quite easy to do. On your Android phone, you want to open your app store and then in the search section, you want to search for Virtual Master Android Clone. Now you see this app here. Go ahead and download and open the app. Now the setup is quite easy. Once you open the app, you want to tap on Create VM in this section and then choose an Android version. So they have from Android 4 all the way to Android 11 in this section. If it's not yet downloaded, simply tap on download and you'll be able to choose the different download version. So in-app Google download, you'll be able to download it from the Google Play Store. At app download will take you to another website to download. So once you have it downloaded, all you need to do is just choose it and then tap on next here. So you'll be able to choose the resolution here. If you want it to be portrait or landscape, in general, just leave it as the default and tap on next. Give the virtual machine a name if you want to. Tap on complete. And this will create your Android virtual machine. Here you want to tap on start VM. Now once here, you just want to swipe up and you're going to see add apps in this section. Tap on it and then scroll to the app you want to add. So for example, I'm just going to be adding one of my WhatsApp accounts. Tap on import. And once imported, you can go back and you now see the app in this section. Now go ahead and open the app. This is the official WhatsApp, so it's safe signing into your WhatsApp account. Tap on agree and continue. Login into your WhatsApp account and give all necessary permissions. Tap on next. Then finish up with an email if you want to or tap on skip. And this will log you into your WhatsApp. If you want to restore your WhatsApp backup, you can also do that during signing into your WhatsApp account. Now, if you've reached here, you've done majority of the work. I'm going to go back to my normal phone and then send a viewer's image to that account again. Now, on that account, they will receive it as a message. And when they tap on it, they'll be able to open it. When they open the image, they'll be able to take screenshots and record their screen without having to use two devices to do it. And this is because taking a screenshot from your device does not trigger the privacy of the virtual phone. And taking a screenshot within the virtual phone will come out as blank. If you do find this video helpful, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and have the post notification turned on.